So now let's get started with Nuxt.js. To do so, I'm going to create a simple folder called Nuxt app. And then I will open this folder with my VS code. So I will open this with VS code and that's very easy. But here what I'm going to do, I will open integrated terminal of VS code and I will simply say npm init. And I will say why so that I don't have to answer various questions. So what this has done, yeah, you can see we have a package.json file. And inside that package.json, it's simple package.json. But now I'm going to install Nuxt in our application. So I will say npm install Nuxt and save it to our package.json file. So if I hit enter, it's now going to install Nuxt on our Nuxt app directory. And now our Nuxt is installed. So we can see it says this kind of uh, diagram or whatever you call is there. And thanks for installing Nuxt.js. And yes, we have Nuxt here. So yes, in our node modules folder, we have lots of things related to Nuxt. So this means we can simply start our server for Nuxt.js. We just need to say npm run dev. But if I do this, we have an error that there is no script called dev. So what I'm going to do again on the package.json file, on this scripts part, I will create a new script called dev. And this is going to point to Nuxt. So it's very easy. So now if I clear it and I will say npm run dev. So now you can see our server is started at localhost colon 3000 and with a universal app. I think you know what is universal app from the previous introduction episode, but we don't have to care about what kind of uh, application it's creating. It just Nuxt application. So you can see it says the client and server both are created and we will talk about these things later. So first focus on the localhost colon 3000. So let's click here to open localhost colon 3000. And yeah, we can see the Vue.js framework and Vue.js framework means the Nuxt. And yeah, it says if you want to get started with Nuxt, you can click here. This will lead you to the installation guide of uh, Nuxt.js and exactly what we have done is written here. Okay, so get back here. So this is please create the pages directory to suppress this default page. But wait, let's see how this page came. When we run this npm run dev, it compile everything and created a new folder, new directory called dot nuxt. If you open this directory, we have lots of things. So first thing first, I can see I have this index.js file. Inside this index.js file, I have view, I have view meta, then some of the router related things, then some Nuxt related things, even Nuxt is also loaded and it is loaded from component Nuxt.js. So here we have component Nuxt.js and it is actually loading all these things. But where is this file? So to have this file, actually that is inside node modules, Nuxt. And if I go to view app, template, page, index. So now you can see, please create the pages directory, get started, view framework, this is the one. So how we can overwrite as this page itself is saying, create a pages directory to suppress this default page. Okay, so let's create a pages directory. So I will say pages and hit enter. And because there is some change, so let's see if I refresh, nothing is going to happen. Let's rebuild everything, rerun npm run dev. And then if I go here, refresh this page, it says this page could not found. We have just created the pages directory and it is giving this error. But again, where this error came from, go to .nux directory and here inside this components, we have 
next error this is the next error and what we can see uh, this page is not found back to home page back to home page is there and this is the error page so how we can remove this error page we just need to create a index.view file so index.view if i create then i create this scaffolding for template script and style and if you don't know how i have created this i have created this because i have installed very beautiful extension of vs code which is vitter or vitter whatever you want to call <laughs> this one actually uh, if you install this you can able to do that okay so here i will create a div and inside div i will say home page and let's move this inside h1 tag that will be good to see and save this file and now refresh this page yes you can see home page is there that's very nice so if i create about dot view and again scaffolding and i will say div then h1 and i will say about page and let's go to about so slash about and yeah you can see about page is there so that's very nice and you can see we have not configured any routes for this because we have nuxjs whatever file you define inside this pages directory will become your route how again let's go to dot next file and here you can see we have a router.js file inside router.js whenever you create any file inside pages directory it will track the changes and then create the route for that so you can see that component is actually or file is actually imported here and then at the bottom here somewhere yeah yeah you can see here we have the router which is defined here so in that way routing is automatically done with dot next whatever you define will become the route but if you are a little bit familiar with view router if you want to change the page uh, without going to this uh, uh, url then you can create a simple router hyphen link type of thing and here i will say home and i need to say to base url similarly on the index page i will create one more and i call it about and slash about as soon as i save you can see whenever i click uh, whenever i save this file or any file it will recompile everything and that's how nuxt to know and actually nuxt update your router file so let's go here and you can see we have this uh, home button and if you are not able to see let me make it big okay so here we have this about page and home is written here as soon as i click on home i am on the home page and yeah this says home page if you want to go to about page yes you can go to about page so that's very easy and you have seen that how easy to set up a project with nuxjs and one more thing and with nuxjs you have a brother of a router link called nuxt link it is almost same with router link but with using with the use of nuxt link the link will going to work on the server side also what's the benefit of using this we will see later but just think about that nuxt link is a big brother of router link and this is going to work exactly the same so we don't actually have to refresh manually because whenever i save this file yeah you can see it is compiling and then instantly it will update your uh, page or hot reload they call it so if i open the chrome dev tool you can see if i clear it out as soon as i save this file go here and you can see it says rebuilding and that's how it will reflect on your browser so this is the getting started with nuxjs we will meet in the next episode to have more fun with nuxjs and if you want to learn more about various things head over to witfumes.com/courses section and here you will have all my udemy courses and some of the premium courses on this website for this website only 
so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye